<laughs> that was a close one. After that's done, I think you should probably put a helmet on. But this next clip also shows why you should probably take it easy on public roads. Things happen quick and not everybody anticipates you to be flying down the road like this. It's really cool that the cop allowed the biker to have some fun there. We definitely need more of that from some cops out there. This next biker though, unfortunately doesn't have much of the same luck. And this just goes to show you why you should always kill your jumps beforehand. Just like the clip prior to this one, this biker was luckily able to speed through and anticipate the car cutting him off instead of having to hit the brakes like the one before. Sometimes that's a better decision, but you have to make that judgment call. hit a small patch of debris in the road there which made him unfortunately lose control but what's even worse about that clip is that all of his buddies rode off without even noticing hi whoa what the that's on camera right Hell, man, look where you're going. Where are rocks from, bro? Oh, yeah. <laughs> These bikers are just chilling in a light when all of a sudden this guy revs behind them. They don't think much of it, but watch what happens next.
Sådana kör eller? Ja. Sådana kör det? Ja. Kör. Det är grannar. Ja. Han jagar ju dig för helvete. Jag jagar ja. Not sure why the guy ended up acting like that, but it's hilarious that his friend had no idea. In this clip though, just judging by the conditions, where he's at, what he's saying, this looks like a recipe for disaster. First time driving in the rain. Well, it just rained. It just rained earlier. Holy f bro. Holy f bro. Stupid dogs, bro. Oh my god, stupid dogs, man. These bikers are riding through the mountains where they've rode many times before. Unfortunately, this time they have some debris on the road that they just can't anticipate. Like I said before, sometimes it's better to take a practice run through things, but just like a falling tree, sometimes things are just completely unavoidable. Are you good? Are you okay? Yeah, I got water. My bag, my bag, open the bag, I got water, open the bag. Here, 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 water! Got it, water with the dirt, water with the dirt! Get the guy, he's okay! It's gonna go, it's gonna go! It's going, it's going! Here, push it back. Oh, no, no, no! No, you're pouring the gas out! out. You're pouring the gas out! It's oh, gonna get back! Get out! There's nothing you can do about it. Watch out. It's gone. What the fuck? You need a rock. Get away from No one's got a fucking fire extinguisher? No, we need a fire extinguisher! Water's not gonna do anything! You gotta go get the fire department. I'm gonna go get the fire department. It's gonna burn to the ground. Richard, come on, come over here! Please, just come over here! No, it's not! It's been blowing this way the whole time. The bike didn't fare so well there, but all in all, I'm glad the biker was okay. You can probably credit that to his gear and the extra little bit of shoulder room he had there. And this is exactly why public roads aren't used for racetracks. But this does bring us to the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys do slap a like on it down below. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.